Hey greens everybody, today I want to take a little bit of time to show you this three point quick hitch. It's uh, sitting on the back of a subcompact tractor, 23 horsepower Massey Ferguson. It's what they call a category one uh, three point hitch, which is something like somewhere between 20 and 30 horsepower tractor. And in any case, if you have a lot of attachments, this thing can save you a lot of time taking them on and off and make your life a lot easier, at least that's what I found. This particular unit I got from uh, Harbor Freight quite a few years ago, probably about $90 in. I was looking online, I think they're around $110 now. But they just mount onto your uh, three-point hitch. And then you can just drop your attachments into them. And what you probably want to do is make sure that your attachments are going to fit. This particular unit is 27 inches between the inside here where your lift pins go. One problem I had with one of my attachments, a uh, toe behind plow, was that it wasn't quite uh, wide enough. So I actually had to go and get some longer lift pins for that, and that solved that problem. One unique thing you see I'm doing right here, like to save a little bit of money, is uh, for a counterbalance weight, I'm just using an old barbell with some iron weights. I priced out a new uh, ballast box, it was close to $300. Plus, I'd have to fill it myself with a ballast concrete or whatever. So these are just laying around the basement, you know, from the younger days uh, when you used to actually exercise once in a while. So I just put these on here and it uh, does a pretty nice job. It's actually a little bit better because it strips your weight a little bit more to the outsides, whereas you just have a ballast box or be a little box uh, hanging right here. And it also will lift out very quickly if you want to disengage it. Basically all you do is you have these two handles. And then you can drop this down to the ground and this will pop, uh, pop right out of there. One important thing to note is that this piece right here may not fit all of your attachments. For example, I have a landscaping rake and this will not work. But what you can do, at least what you used to be able to do is back in the day, Harbor Freight sold this separately. It's not actually listed in their catalog. I found somebody put the part number on the form and you could actually have to call them up on the phone and then argue with them and give them the part number and you can get this. What this does is this will fit in here and then this will go and be your top uh, lift point. Made a few modifications to this particular unit to make it a little more universal for me. One thing you notice here is had two three-eighth inch uh, hooks welded on. These are handy if you're out in the woods you want to tow some uh, logs in. You can suck your chain right there. It'll give you a nice uh, even distribution pulling on your tractor. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to tow my log splitter around as well as my Harbor Freight trailer, which you've seen in other videos, because I like go down to the uh, landfill, get a couple loads of mulch, bring that back, then I can hook it up to the tractor and tow it through the yards of the various garden beds without having to you know, drive the pickup truck out through the yard. And what I did here is this is just a standard hitch receiver I got from, I believe, Walmart. In this case, it was like $20. And typically, it's meant to go on the other side of a bumper. You just bolt it on. I just had a guy weld this on for me. And then you can take a standard uh, Reese hitch receiver here. To be as universal as possible, I picked this one up on Amazon. So it has the three different size ball hitches, one to seven eighths, two, and then two and five sixteenths, as well as a hook for a tow strap. You can just slide this in and uh, put your pin in, of course, to retain it. One problem you might have, though, is this might be a little bit too high off the ground for what you want to do. So I found this uh, drop receiver, I think also on Amazon, Amazon probably for around uh, $40 or so. And you can just put this baby in here. This will also, if you want to use the higher one, let you send it back a little bit further. You can drop it down to the lower one. 
I find this is perfect height for uh, hauling my wood splitter and my Harbor Freight trailer around, so that works out pretty well. So probably $40, $40, and $20 plus a little bit of welding. Makes a really nice universal uh, attachment for your compact or subcompact tractor. Saves me a lot of time. Okay, I have one more accessory I found useful. I'm going to go ahead and load that up and I'll show that to you in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, attachment on, drop these weights off just to give you an idea. And it's just that easy. This other attachment here I find pretty useful too. I picked this up at Tractor Supply Company for probably about $130 a year or two ago. Just put this little deck with some 2x4 pressure treated, just some old leftover scraps that had warped and weren't good for anything else. And it's nice, like if I'm out in the woods, I want to bring some firewood in, I'll bring the logs in in the front bucket and then load some more up on the back of this. It's also good for carrying uh, you know, big flat boxes around, that sort of thing. Heavy materials, a couple loads of block, that sort of thing. Alright, I hope you found this useful. Got some ideas.